Portage, Indiana, a cool cemetery. I'm trying to find one grave here, and we'll tell you a story about a friggin' monster that killed this little girl, amongst others. I think he ended up getting convicted of killing seven people. But this little girl here is kind of close to home. We lived in Portage. And uh, this is all you heard about when it happened. And it was terrible. We friggin' got a hold of her and took her in these little woods behind the church of all things and killed her. Eugene Britt. Almost don't even want to say that name. Right, son of a bitch. But we're trying to find uh, Sarah Paulson's grave. This was back in 1995. So let me stroll around a little bit. I know her headstone looks like beautiful. Big heart. Let me find it and we'll get back to you. Little girl never had a chance. Sarah, that's a beautiful stone. Our little angel, Sarah Lynn Paulson. She was born August 7, 1987. On that horrible day, August 22, 1995. Now lay me down to sleep. So sad. Such a cute little girl. Kids are innocent. So Sarah, so sorry. God bless you. I'm sure he did bless you. Rest in peace. Eugene Victor Britt, born November 4, 1957, is an American serial killer and rapist who killed at least seven girls and women in Gary and Portage, Indiana. Between May and September 1995, suspected in a total of 10 murders, he was convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment. Eugene Britt was born on November 4, 1957, in a large, impoverished family residing in Gary, Indiana. Both of his parents were alcoholics, with his father frequently beating his mother. Due to the constant abuse, at age 14, Eugene dropped out of school and fled from home, living on the streets and using drugs. Around this time, he began to show signs of an intellectual disability. In April 1978, he attacked a 17-year-old girl who was returning home from the Roosevelt High School, robbing and raping her. Britt would later be arrested for this crime, receiving a 30-year sentence in December of that year. After serving half of his sentence, he was paroled in August 1993 and returned to Gary. 
where he resorted to sleeping in homeless shelters due to his financial constraints. During this period, he lived with one of his sisters and changed several jobs, doing low-skilled work. He preferred to spend most of his time traveling around the city riding on his bicycle. In early autumn 1995, Britt was hit by a train causing him severe injuries due to which he had to use a wheelchair for the next several weeks. On November 3, 1995, Eugene was arrested on suspicion of killing 8-year-old Sarah Lynn Paulson, whose body had been found on August 22 near her home in Portage. While investigating her deaths, officer found about 20 fibers of blue polyester yarns and green colors, which matched the uniforms worn by employees of the Hardy's restaurant chain. At that time, Britt worked in a local division based in Portage and had been sent home in the middle of the day for an administrative offense and was even seen riding his bicycle near the crime scene. Upon learning this, the police officers confiscated his uniform so they could examine it. Three days later, Britt confessed to killing Paulson to Clyde Smith, the head of the homeless shelter where he had lived until his arrest, in addition to nine other murders after that. Smith convinced Eugene to give himself up to law, law enforcement, which he did on the following day. During an eight-hour interrogation, Britt confessed to killing ten people in total, including Sarah Paulson. According to his confessions, he had killed the other victims between May 9th and September 12th, dumping their bodies in various locations around Gary. He indicated the dumping sites on a map, and much to the police surprise, at least seven of those deaths had previously been ruled as non-homicidal in nature. For example, one of the victim's bodies was found in a state of severe decomposition with the medical examiner unable to establish the cause of death. Brett's victims were predominantly young girls and women, including one man aged between 8 and 51. One of the victims was a prostitute. During their interrogation, he claimed to have committed the murders on the orders from the voice in his head, attacking the victims in desolate areas from behind, after which he dragged them to the side where he raped and thereafter strangled the chosen victim. The circumstances surrounding the man's murder, according to his testimonies, were different from the others. According to Eugene, Two men had attempted to steal his bicycle, causing it to break down, but he managed to frighten them off with his imposing physique. Because of this, he got lost while searching for spare parts. After some time, he managed to track down one of the robbers, whereupon he proceeded to beat up and then strangle him. Britt occasionally clarified that the injuries caused from the train were intentional and he had planned on committing suicide. Based on Britt's testimony in the following days, police found some bones and clothes in one of the indicated grave sites. But in December of that year, thanks to dental analysis of the jaw, the victim was identified as 24-year-old Tanya Dunlap, who had been missing since July 18th of that year. Despite the claims that there were 10 victims in total, investigators were successfully identifying only seven of them. Soon after his arrest, Britt was indicted in Porter County for the murder of Sarah Paulson. In May 1996, on the basis of a plea bargain, he was spared the death penalty and instead received life imprisonment, plus 100 years. In the summer, he was transferred to the Lake County Jail, pending the completion of further investigations. In February 2000, after thorough investigation into his claims, Britt was charged with six more murders and the rape of a 13-year-old girl. In mid-2000, Britt's lawyers said that his mental state had severely deteriorated and was criminally insane, arguing that he could not be liable for his deeds and needed compulsory treatment. By request of his prosecutors, a forensic psychiatrist examined was carried out by the end of the year, which deemed that Eugene Britt was sane and capable of standing trial. However, the opening trial was postponed several times due to various reasons and circumstances. Beginning in 2006, on October 6, 2006, Britt pleaded guilty to the murders of 14-year-old Nikita Moore, 24-year-old Tanya Dunlap, 41-year-old Maxine Walker, 50-year-old Betty Escu, 27-year-old Michelle Burns, and 41-year-old Deborah McHenry. 
in addition to the assault and rape of a 13-year-old girl. After another psychological exam, he was deemed intellectually disabled, leading to the court showing leniency towards him. On November 3rd, Britt was sentenced to an additional 245 years imprisonment. After the verdict's announcement, he burst into tears, expressing remorse for what he had done and asking forgiveness from the victims, relatives, and families. After the trial, he was transferred to the Indiana State Prison, located 80 kilometers away from Chicago. As of January 2021, the, the 63-year-old Brit is still alive and certain, serving his sentence under the prison number 963641.